May 15, we're here at the Getúlio Vargas Foundation in Rio de Janeiro for this uh, second international seminar, Post-Abolition, History of uh, Black Atlantic. And we have here with us Professor Thomas Holt from uh, the University of Chicago, who's going to do a presentation about exactly what, Professor? Well, about the, um, uh, the idea, actually, of commemoration and uh, events such as this. Um, I was last here at the commemoration of the 100th anniversary, the centennial of abolition in Brazil. And that was a very different moment uh, in the history uh, of people in the uh, black Atlantic world, in the US and in Brazil. Uh, so now we're in yet a different moment, 30 years later. And so I will try to talk about how we might learn something um, from our reflections on that uh, previous moment. Um, and, and its complications, um, and some of the things that flowed from the abolition, both in the U.S. and in Brazil. You talked about the differences be, uh, between Brazil at that time and now. What, which are the main ones? Well, uh, you mean the time of... Uh, 30 years ago. 30 years ago. Well, it seemed to me that there was a, a sense of, at least as a visitor, I found a sense of optimism and sense of progress, of uh, breaking barriers and so forth at that time. I'm uh, not an expert on contemporary Brazil, but I imagine they are uh, probably, uh, as in the United States, a sense that uh, some problems still linger and, uh, and need to be addressed. So. And some of those problems, in spite of all differences, some of those problems are very similar in both countries. Huh? Police abuse and... Uh, yeah, very much so. Um, certainly in the United States, uh, the kind of um, uh, optimism that I think prevailed in, even with all the problems that uh, even at that time in 1988, um, uh, that we were coming off of a period of conservative uh, politics in the United States, but uh, there was a sense of an opening to a, a different era, um, which to some degree uh, proved true, or at least eventually. Um, and um, I think that's, um, and, and a different way of thinking about issues like uh, race and racial uh, problems, uh, obviously socioeconomic problems. Um, and also about the relations of people across what's come to be called the black Atlantic world, um, which was, uh, that was a moment in which we were beginning to, uh, at least as historians, write about and think, uh, I think, in very complex ways about that history and about that background. Um, so those are some of the differences, I think. Now, as a historian, would you consider yourself optimistic? I'm always optimistic. <laughs> um, I mean, basically, I recently did a, um, uh, a long view history of uh, African Americans, that is, uh, black Americans in the US, United States. And one of the things that was very clear is uh, that it's a history in which there have been uh, moments of great progress and then of, of, of um, uh, retreat. retreat in some extent, or at least um, uh, a stalling of progress. And that's been repeated um, from the earliest times, from uh, the period of, say, or even before the American Revolution, the period of the Civil War and Reconstruction in the United States, a uh, period of the 1920s. So it's, it's, not, it's an old story. It's an old pattern, actually. So in that sense, you know, each time the uh, regression, in some sense, sort of sets the stage for the, the next uh, move forward. So, so that's one way of maintaining my optimism. Yeah, now here in Brazil, but since uh, the turn of the millennium, uh, we have uh, seen, we have uh, uh, been part of uh, a huge process of, of change. 
something that can be seen when you go to the university because of affirmative, affirmative action. There are much more blacks in university now. And some movements, especially movements led by women uh, based on uh, valuing the phenotype, uh, uh, the, the heritage, the African heritage. Uh, I, I, have you seen something of that here? Uh, well, I've, you know, not been in Brazil for uh, about 20 years or so now, uh, but I, I read about it, and, and I've, uh, it seems to me that it's a pattern that one finds uh, in the United States and one finds elsewhere. One finds it in Europe as well. I mean, there's a, um, uh, a kind of, um, uh, there's a deep similarity, actually, in, in the patterns that, you know, across, you know, diverse places that are otherwise very different. Um, and yet also, of course, you know, some differences between them. Okay, Professor, thank you very much. And uh, I hope your, your presentation will be a great success. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. What follows is an interview with uh, one of the main participants of this seminar, which is Professor Thomas Holt from the University of Chicago.